Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I am reaching out to my robotics community to help me with a problem that I have been finding very frustrating. It's mysterious and I'm gonna need your help. Stay with me to find out what it is. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, I've seen this problem before. I've actually seen other people have this problem before, and it's just, I haven't been able to figure it out, and I'm gonna need your guys' help. Basically what happens is, I'm trying to run a program on this robot. In motor control, both motors work, but in a program, either brick or the computer, one of the motors is working and the other is not. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the crazy part. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my BNC motors, which is what they're plugged into. So, oh. okay, so this is the motor that's having the issue, but on, on motor control, it's fine. So there's both motors, everything's fine, backwards, this is backwards. Okay, so under motor control, everything's fine. But let's go ahead and go to brick program. And so the issue is, is um, what's happening under a program. So you just saw that under motor control, everything's fine. But here I just have a forward for two seconds. So, and here's the problem now. Just that motor's running. This motor, nothing. Let me show you that again. This is running. This one's not running. Let me go to my computer and show you the same thing. Okay, so what happens here is that here I am on my Mindstorm software. The motor that's not working is plugged into B right here. So when I run this just with B, it'll work because it's just working off this one motor. But if I do a program where both motors are involved, this one will not work. Check this out. Okay, so I'm on my computer here and I have just a move tank block. I dropped it to 20 because you guys know 20 is super slow and I'm going to show you what happens. So I have both motors running for 20 seconds at 20% speed. So watch what happens when, let me just go ahead and flip this robot over. Let me go ahead and show you what happens when I hit this program. Do you see how fast this motor is going? It's almost like it's taking the energy or the power from this motor and putting it onto this motor, because that's way faster than 20% motor speed. So that's the problem here. I'll even show you that it's running. Let me just click that again. So that's the part that's tripping me out is number one, under motor control, it's fine. And then here, that's not 20% speed. So it almost feels like it's sucking the power from this that or from this motor and putting it onto this one. So not sure guys what what's going on here. I've you're probably thinking, well switch out the cables, Mr. Hino. Switched out like three or four different cables. Same thing's happening. So that's the phantom mysterious issue here is um, with motor control or when that motor is just by itself, it runs fine. But when you do anything to combine both the B and C motors, it feels like that one C motor is just taking all the energy power um, from that one motor and it's just not running. So if you guys can hit me up in the comment section, let me know if you've ran into this problem before, if there's a fix for it. Um, because basically this motor is useless because I'm not gonna just use this one motor all by itself. I'm always gonna combine it with another motor and I'm not sure exactly what to do here. So I'm shouting out a big help to all of you guys to see if you can help me out on that, okay? I'd love to hear from you. 
and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys? I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.